Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, Pacific Northwest RC Madness. Today, guys, I'm just gonna do a unboxing. Well, it's already been unboxed yesterday, but we had a little mishap with this guy, the Spectrum DX 2E. Lost range at like 30 feet. People tell me to pull the antenna out because it wasn't stretched out far enough and put a bigger tube in it. That's not what we did. We just decided to hook up the Futaba 4PK and uh, we're gonna go from there. So guys, let's check out this truck and show you what it looks like from front to back. So guys, first thing I see here in this truck, really that catches my eye, is the paint job on the body. It's wickedly amazing and I like it a lot, guys. It's uh, not really a solid color. It's not too crazy. It's really subtle because it's dark. It's painted, it's got stickers on it. These stickers are not underneath the body. They're not painted on the body. These are just stickers I did not install. It comes with a sticker kit uh, that I did not bring today in the package. But anyways, starting it's got a nice lip diffuser in the front bumper. And it has these awesome round headlights with what looks to be like a red display going around the bulb, which is not really there. So we've got some stickers here that say no step, no tow, or tow, here's a tow hook. And we got our Arma symbol, guys, right there. And we got these really cool clips. Let's bring you in here. Arma gives you these really awesome clips. So let's just unclip this body. Going over the top of the body, guys. This is really cool effect that they did. They uh, they put these, looks like kind of like a skid plate right on the roof, which is awesome. And then when you get down to the screws, you'll start getting sparks. Hopefully you're not flipping it over. So moving down, this clips off. It's got a nice roll bar, guys. Check that out. Looks like it rolls all the way through into the body, probably wraps around. We'll show you that. And then here in the rear, it's hard to see. We've got a clear wing that can be painted, which is awesome. Coming around the back, guys. Got the rear diffuser. And that's pretty awesome. Help this truck go 100 miles per hour. Look at that plate. It says infraction. Taking off the body, guys. Let's go over this truck real quick. Now let's go under the body. So here we go. This is what we got under the body. Look, they got these nice, nice little uh, stickers that help from wearing through where the posts are at, where the wheels might touch, and suspension travel, front and rear. Uh, the wing is bolted on, and here we go. Nice sticker on the inside. It says. Don't just bash, bash. Don't just bash, blast. So there you go, guys, that's the body. All right, moving on to the truck. Start off here in the front. We got a nice foam bumper here. Moving back, got the body supports that are adjustable, up and down, looks like front and rear. Moving inside here to the springs, we got some nice threaded shock bodies, aluminum. Looks to be a nice aluminum front tower. And I've never had an Arma, guys, but Armas have pillow balls. I had an E-Revo once before, had pillow balls. So we'll see about that. If you zoom in in there, you can see there's an aluminum, uh, attachment point coming off the front spindle that red part right there so that's pretty nice because that's usually a breaking point so that's pretty awesome moving back we got the aluminum uh i don't know what that is it's not the bulk support maybe that is the bulk bulk plate top bulk plate uh it's pretty awesome arma gives you a aluminum horn Moving on, I'm not so sure 
about the servo. Let's turn the truck around. I'm not so sure about the servo, guys. I've heard a lot of not good things about it, but we're gonna run it. But it does have a nice aluminum horn. Check out the motor. Pretty awesome print design on it. All right, guys, so yesterday I changed my plugs out, the IC5s, I believe they were, to the XT90s, because we're running 6S, and that's what I got on my batteries. I am running uh, two Turnagy HDs, 5,000 milliamps. I'm not sure what C. Guys, when you get the truck, you're gonna have to cut these straps, so get a pair of scissors, because I send them super long for bigger, taller batteries, which is awesome. And then, uh, let's see here. Moving on to the back, look at that, guys. We got sway bars. Sway bars front. And we got sway bars in the rear also. Let's see here, you get that to focus in there. This video is gonna be a little bouncy. I forgot my stand, guys, sorry. Sway bars in the front, sway bars in the rear. Everything looks super beefy. And then we got this nice, chassis brace right there runs from the front tower to the rear tower it's a nice handle to pick your truck up and what else do we got oh armament armament has these nice nice shock tower or shock caps protectors front and rear flipping the truck upside down guys let's see here you got this aluminum Rear chassis, rear aluminum chassis. Look at that front diffuser got all messed up when it went in the ditch yesterday, Arma. It's bolted on. Looks like it's missing some bolts, but it's not. So this is the rear of the truck. I'm hearing these tires are super soft. These are nice. I wouldn't say they're super grippy. They feel kind of hard, but there we go. They seem like they're belted. 17 millimeter hubs. And that's it, guys. So, let's give it a run. We're not in a very big parking lot, as you can see. We're not on a long road. We're just out here at a school, just down the road from my house. But uh, as of now, we're just running the stock gearing that comes in the box. I don't got the speed pinning in there. Uh, I just want to get all the kinks worked out before it gets crashed into one of these curbs. So. Let's go guys, let's see what it's got. Here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Getting it, getting it. All right guys. Get the tires warmed up a little bit. Look at the steering, it's pulling hard. Look at that guys, out of the box, that's what you get. Can't drive it straight, so we're not gonna get a real speed run, but this is what you get out of the box, guys. It's, it's awesome. Top speed, 39 miles per hour. We can't get it to drive straight, fellers, so. That's it, I need to take it home. Oh, shoot, it changed. Here we go, let's see here, here we go. Max speed, 39 miles per hour, that's all we got. I gotta take it home before I crash it, straighten it out. This ain't gonna work, guys, so. Well, I almost dropped the camera. We're gonna get out of here, guys, so. All right, guys, we're at a different location right now. We centered up the steering servo. We only hit 39 miles per hour at that last spot, so we just changed up spots, and uh, I just couldn't go put it away, so. I just dialed in the sub trim. We'll fix it up later on, but at least it'll go straight for now. So let's see what we can get on the stock gear. Not the speed gear, but um, truck's already got all sorts of rubber inside of it, guys, from the last little run I was doing. 
five minutes was all. These tires are wearing fast, so here we go. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see what we got. We ran it for five minutes. We got 59 miles per hour stock stock steering guys. That's pretty awesome. Alright everybody, one thing I noticed after the run, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to double up on this tape that's under the fenders. Look, it's wearing through already. That's the only spot. And it's wearing through on the fender right here on the spot right here guys. So that's it. All right guys, we ran the truck for about five minutes and 50 seconds there. Let's see what the tires look like. Wow, these things are warm. So, temp gauge, tires. Look at that guys. Tires are reading 142 degrees. The motor is running cooler than the tires, 124 degrees, guys. Speed control. Speed control is running at 115, 110. And our batteries, guys, are under 90. Front tires, they're cooling down, obviously. The rear tires get hotter, more hot. All right guys, so that's gonna end the video. Please do, if you like the video, push the subscribe button right here. Please leave a comment below and uh, a like also guys. So yeah, smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you tomorrow. Whoosh.